Hello YouTubers, so uh, here is another one-off video here talking about light switches not not any light switch but these ones here these four that you see now these ones are special and you can probably see already there's a little tip at the top what that's about is these ones are actually mercury light switches that's right guys these have little vials of mercury inside of them now I've had these for a couple of years. Now these were marketed as silent switches, which used to be common, I believe, from the 60s and then into the late 80s, and then I believe in 1991, these were banned from being manufactured because of the mercury content that these have. So yeah, like I said, they're they were marketed as silent switches, as you can hear. It doesn't make that click sound, it just glides up and down. Now here's just your regular old toggle light switch. As you can hear, there's a click. There's, that's one. There's another one. Maybe some people probably still get annoyed with the clicks. I really don't care. It's just as long as the light switch works, that's all that matters. But I guess people back then were very picky. So we have I have your 3GE light 3GE Mercury light switches here. Two of them are three-way and then the other one's just a single hole. This your regular old one-way switch made by GE. And the other one's made by Leviton or Leviton, however you want to pronounce it. And yeah, this one's got that little tip on the top too. So we're gonna hook, I'm gonna hook each one of these up. Now I have a 12 volt power supply. I have a couple of light fixtures here. Now these LED bulbs that are in here, these are marine bulbs. So these will run on 12 volts. Kind of keep things safe here. So let me get the, I'll get the Leviton switch connected here and show you the characteristics of a mercury switch. Okay, so I got my camera down on the tripod. We're gonna connect this up. Now, the power supply is off, it's set to 12 volts, just a bench power supply. Now this black screw here, since this is a three-way switch, this black screw usually represents the common. We'll connect that. And I'm just going to connect one of the lights to one of the other screws here. The load side, we'll call it. Now, all these switches apparently also have a little neon indicator in them. Now, they, the neon indicator will not work in this setup because... A, I'm running it off 12 volts. And B, I have two LED bulbs. So, I should say marine bulbs. Those are designed to run off of 12 volts. So, here we go. So there you go. Now, so I just have it set up like that. So those of you with epilepsy, watch out. Do skip this car if you have epilepsy, because this is I'm gonna shake the switch to show you the characteristics. So here we go. See how it kind of flickers like that? That's because these have to be leveled. The arrow has to face up. If you fail to say you put it upside down like that. I mean it still works. And at least in this switch. But you're going to have annoying flickering light. Oh yeah that was a cool one right there. So. Got this switch. I'll stop here and wire up the other one. Here's another mercury switch. This one is the one way. Which it only goes on. You know, it will work. It's just a single hole switch, so. Which only one light's connected at the moment. And then you can shake it. You can even turn it off and still shake it and it will come on. That's the characteristics of these. Now, I did take one of these apart. And yes, I was extra careful. So, I'll turn this off. 
Now, there's a little tiny, there's actually a tiny bulb in there, but it's actually sealed inside of a, like a steel little housing, so that way nobody can just start fooling with the little mercury bulb that's in here. Because you don't want to do that. That little vial of mercury. It's some serious stuff, so. Like I said, apparently they banned these things, I believe, in 1991. I was actually still surprised that they were made into the 80s. Cool piece of history. Let's connect this three-way GE light switch up. That's a nice thing about 12 volts, is it'll... It could play play it safe. I'm gonna turn on my bench power supply here. As you can see, same thing. Flicker. Now, where I got these switches from, it actually was from Value Village. It was two years ago. I happened to go into Valley Village just to look around, and I know it's one of those little bags that they usually have with the sorted miscellaneous stuff. And and then I dug in the, that little area, and I stumbled across a bag with just only these in there, nothing else. And I knew they looked kind of off and different looking. So. Out of curiosity, I decided through the bag, I just flipped one of the switches like that. And I was like, huh, they feel smooth. They don't click. And right away, I knew that these are mercury switches, so I had to grab them. It's cool stuff. Get this other GE switch here. Now, a lot of people probably would just take them to the scrapyard or whatever, because I guess, I don't know. I've heard some scrapyards apparently pay $4 if you... If you take these in, like, they'll give you $4 per switch because of the mercury content in there. But me, I don't like throwing things in the garbage around here. And I will hold on to these forever. So I will never get rid of these. So, yeah. <laughs> that is the characteristics of these. So if you guys are re doing a renovation, a very old house, and you... Pull the switches out of the wall, but still have the power energized. You know as your lights are doing this. Chances are, you probably have one of these mercury switches. And it, especially if it doesn't make a click sound. If it's only smooth, that is a mercury switch. I decided to wire in two four-way switches in between the two mercury switches. So now I should be able to control these two lights from four different locations. Now this one's a modern day eating switch you can get at Lowe's. This one's just a Leviton or Leviton four-way switch. So there's that. And then I can control the lights from here. Probably it might help if I do that. I could play this game all day long. And then turn one last time using this mercury switch. Now you still get your flickers. <sighs> Try to shake it. So what's going on here is coming off of the power supply here. Here's my positive lead. It goes straight into this switch here to the common screw. And then the other two screws, which are I just call them the travelers. Link up to this to this switch here, which it lands on the two common screws, which happens to be black. Travels through the switch out to the other two traveler screws, and it lands on the two trap the two common screws on these this switch, which this one happens to be on this side. And then from here, it goes out to these other two travelers. It lands on these two screws on the bottom, and it passes through this switch. And then my load is connected to here, going out to these two lights. A lot of people get terrified of these four-way switches, but they're really not that difficult. You just got to know which one's your power coming in and which one's going out to the load or your lights or whatever. You can hook as many of these four-ways up as you wanted to. If you wanted to put 10 of these in, 
You only need two three-way switches and eight four-ways. Just like that.